Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another yoga session, another yoga practice. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Roll out your mat, have a seat. Feel free to take any props that you might want to use, any blocks, blankets, straps. You can sit on your heels, you can sit cross-legged, whatever is uh, easiest for you. Bring your hands to your knees, you can turn the palms face down, you can turn the palms face up, whatever you prefer. But closing the eyes. Just start tuning into the breath. Just tuning into the rhythms of the inhales and then the exhales. And just observing the sensations through the body. Continue sitting tall. Maybe softening some of the rougher areas where you know you might be holding tension, just loosening up the shoulders or shifting the hips a little bit. And bringing awareness back to the breath, lengthening the inhales, lengthening the exhales. Start to fire up the ujjayi breath, breath with sound. Let's take three more deep breaths. Slowly opening up the eyes, reach the arms out beside you, palms facing out. Big inhale, sweep the arms overhead and take the right hand to your left elbow and just give yourself a nice little tricep stretch. Still lengthening along the spine. You can let your chin drop down a little bit if that feels okay. Releasing out the left arm, take the right arm, bending at the elbow, left palm to the right elbow. One more breath. And letting go, release it out. Come up onto your hands and knees. Settle back into a brief child's pose. Separating the knees a little wider than the hips, toes together. Take your hands behind your back, placing one hand on top of the other. It'll be a big inhale where you start to lift your head off the mat, lift off your heel, sweep the arms around, then up overhead, bringing both palms together at the heart. Taking a little twist to the right, bring the left arm forward, right arm back. Bring the palms together again, lift the arms overhead. Go to the left side, reach the right arm forward, left arm back. Palms together, sweep the arms up. Sweep the arms back, let your forehead lower down again on the mat, returning to your child's pose. Big inhale, sweep up, head up, arms overhead. Exhaling, palms together at the heart. Inhaling, twist to the right with the left arm forward, right arm back. Exhaling to center, lifting up. And to the left side, reach the left arm forward, right arm back. Come back up. 
Sweep the arms behind you, hands to your lower back, lower the forehead, child's pose. One more time, inhaling, lift, sweep the arms up. Palms together, take a little twist to the right. Palms together, lift the arms up. And go to the left side with the right arm forward, left arm back. Arms high, arms back, hands to the lower back in a little child's pose. Bring your hands again to the mat, come on to hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide, lining up the hands for your first downward facing dog of the day. Lift the hips up and back. Feel free in your first down dog to walk out the feet, bending one knee, bending the other. As you stretch things out, shake things off. Just kind of getting a sense of where things are at today. Big inhale, lift the heels high. Exhaling, relax the heels to the mat. And if I didn't say it yet, please feel free to modify any part of your practice as it makes sense for you. Putting a little bend in the knees, look forward through the hands, walk or hop the feet up to the front of the mat. Good, folding over the legs with the feet about hip width distance apart, head down, roll up slowly to stand, take your time. Uncurl all the way, all the way up as you press through the legs, chest up, shoulders back, Tadasana. Big inhale, sweep the arms around and up overhead. Exhaling as you dive over the legs, interlace fingers behind the back. Bending the knees, head down, arms high. One more breath. Letting the arms relax toward the mat, start to lift the chest. Exhaling, step the left leg back in a low lunge, lower the knee. Feel free to take blocks if you need them. Straighten the front leg as you curl the right toes. Coming into a half split pose, right? You don't have to use them if you don't need them. Start to re-bend the right knee. Step back to down dog, bring the right leg back. Big inhale, take it forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the mat. Slide it through into a low cobra pose. Return to your down dog or take child's pose. Deep breaths. One more deep breath. Bend in the knees, looking forward through the hands. Walk or hop the feet to the front of the mat. Rounding down, keep the feet hip width distance apart. Roll up slowly to stand. Your head comes up last, chest up, shoulders back. Press down, inhale the arms, sweep them overhead, reach up. Exhale as you dive, interlace fingers again behind the back. Change the grip so the opposite pinky fingers on top, head down. Bending knees. Letting the arms relax toward the mat, lift the chest. Step the right foot back in a low lunge, lower the right knee. Ardha Hanuman, straighten the front leg, half split. Use blocks if you need under the hands. Take one more breath. Rebending up the left knee, down dog, left foot steps back. Big inhale, take it forward to plank. Lower to Chaturanga or drop the knees to modify. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling back to your down dog or child's pose. From your down dog, a little bend in the knees, look forward, walk or hop the feet up to the front of the mat. One more time, rolling up slowly to stand. Uncurl one vertebra at a time until you come all the way, all the way up, chest up, shoulders back. Bring both feet together, toes and heels touch. Bend the knees, Ukatasana, sit deep, lift the arms. Soften the shoulders, keep the arms nice and strong. Look up if you can, even if it's just the eyes, looking up between the hands. Give it one more deep breath. Fold over the legs, let it go. 
step the left leg back at a low lunge, little bend in the back knee, look forward, come into high lunge, arms to the sky. You can keep a bend in the back knee or straighten it out. Whatever feels good here. Open up the arms, warrior two, as the back heel spins flat. Let's straighten out the front leg, come into triangle pose, turn the arms, lower the right hand, lift the left. Micro bend at the front knee, use a block if you need. Take one more deep breath. Low lunge, bend at the right knee, lower the hands to the mat, down dog split with the right leg high. Pull your knee to the nose, curl it in. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the right knee, left elbow, cross it over. Inhale the right leg high. Step to low lunge, bring your foot through the hands. Step all the way to the front of the mat, fold over the legs. Holding here for just a moment, feet apart, hip width, hands to opposite elbows. Letting the arms relax down toward the mat, heel, toe, the feet back together again. Bend the knees all the way, sit deep, arms high, Ukatasana. Dive over the legs, let it go, head down. Step the right foot back in low lunge. Little bend in the back knee, look forward for balance, high lunge. Reach up, drop the shoulders. You can keep the bend in the back knee or straighten it out, completely up to you. Open it up for warrior two, right heel spins flat, when, uh, open the arms out. Adding triangle pose, straighten the front leg, turn the arms, lower the left hand down, right arm high, lengthening the spine. Strong legs, relax the toes down, one more breath as you look up. Low lunge, bend the left knee, hands down, down dog split, left leg high. Pull the knee to the nose, curl it in. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale the left knee, right elbow, cross it over and pause. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale to low lunge, step the foot through, carry the foot if you need, step all the way to the front of the mat, fold over the legs, relax the head down. Bring the feet together again, toes, heels, touch, we're adding on, bend the knees, Ukatasana. Dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Step the left leg back in a low lunge, look forward for balance, high lunge, sweep the arms up. Sweep the arms straight out front, lower your hands to the mat in front of the right foot, lift the left leg up off the mat, coming into a supported warrior three. Make sure the left hip is dropping down a little bit. Step the left foot back, high lunge, bring the arms back overhead. Let's do that again. Reach the arms all the way out front, hands down, left leg up, chest up. Step the left foot back, reach the arms high. One more time. Reach the arms out, hands down, left leg up, chest up. Left foot to the mat, low lunge, high lunge. Warrior two, reach out. Reverse the warrior, sweep the right arm up. Lower both hands to the inside of the right foot. Come into a side lunge at the back of the mat. Bend the left knee, keep the heel down, pick up the right toes. Deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. We'll come to center, Prasarita Padatanasana. Plant the right toes down, the feet parallel. Fold over the legs. The knees need to bend, you can bend them. If the legs are straight, remember to micro bend. One more breath. With your hands toward the mat, lift the chest. Low lunge at the front of the mat. Walk the hands around. Down dog split, lift the right leg high. Pull the knee to the nose, round it in. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, cross it over. Come into fallen triangle. Step the right foot all the way through. Roll to the edges of the feet. Lift the left arm up. One more breath. Lower the left hand, sweep the right leg back up. Step into low lunge, foot through the hands. Step all the way forward, fold over the legs. 
feet apart, hands to opposite elbows, but switch the grip so the opposite hand is resting on top. One more breath. Let the arms drop down toward the mat. Heel toe the feet back together again. Utkatasana, bend the knees, lift the arms. Dive over the legs, let it go. Step the right foot back and low lunge. A little bend in the knee, look forward, high lunge, arms to the sky. And reach the arms forward, hands to the mat in front of the left foot, right leg up off the mat, modified warrior three, a little supported action here. Step into your low lunge, right toes back, look forward, arms high, high lunge. Two more times, reach the arms out, hands down, right leg up. Step it back, arms up. Last time. Stepping back, high lunge. Warrior two, reach the arms out. Reverse the warrior, left arm high. Lower both hands to the inside of the left foot. Skandasana, side lunge to the right, bend the right knee, heel down. Pick up the left toes for a slightly deeper stretch. Low lunge, front of the mat, plant the left toes down, walk the hands around. Down dog split, left leg high. As you exhale, pull the knee to the nose, curl it in. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, cross it over to the right elbow. Step the left foot all the way through. Roll to the edges of the feet. Fall in triangle pose. Right arm high. One more deep breath in. On the exhale, lower the right hand. Left leg up. Step to low lunge. Bring your foot through the hands. Step all the way up to the front of the mat. Fold over the legs. Dropping the head down. Feet together, toes, heels touch. Let's do a little Bakasana Crow Pose. Bending at the knees, drop the palms flat, spread the fingers wide, look in front of the hands. So your hands, your wrists should be under the shoulders. Start lifting the heels, bending the elbows, place the knees on the upper arms. Keep looking in front of the hands. Lean forward, come up onto your big toes. Are you still breathing? You can hold it here or start lifting your feet up off the mat. If your feet come up, bring the big toes together. Let's give it one more deep breath. Return both feet to the mat, lift the hips high, forward fold, feet hip width distance apart. Padangustasana, grab your big toes in yogi toe lock. First two fingers of each hand, lift the chest, big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round down and fold. If you're modifying here, it's just hands to opposite elbows. Let the breath move. One more deep breath. Big inhale, lift the chest. Exhaling, releasing out the toes. Padahastasana, hand to foot pose. Lift the fronts of the feet, the toes, slide the hands under. As you exhale, drop the toes down, head down. Continue folding over the legs. One more deep breath. Start to lift the chest, big inhale. Exhaling, releasing out the hands from the feet. Bring the feet together, toes, heels touch, bend the knees, ukatasana, arms high. Fold over the legs, let it go. Step the left leg back at a low lunge, little bend in the knee, look forward. High lunge, arms to the sky. Good, reach the arms forward, modified warrior three, hands to the front of the mat, left leg up. Step it back to low lunge, high lunge, arms up. One more like that. Reaching forward, hands out, left leg up. Low lunge, step back, high lunge. This next time we're adding on, so reach both arms forward, hands in front of the right foot, left leg up. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Point the left toes away, open up the left hip. 
maybe put a block under the right hand if you like, lift the left arm. Strong standing leg, turn your head when you can, maybe look up at your left fingertips. Give it one more deep breath. Step back to warrior two, bring your left foot on the mat, arms out to the side. Ooh, reverse the warrior, right arm high. Hands to the mat, inside the right foot. Skandasana to the left, bend the left knee, keep the heel down. Prasarita to center, wide forward fold. Lift up the chest on the inhale. Good, come into a low lunge, face the front of the mat. Turn the back heel down at a 45 degree angle, similar to warrior one. Setting up Pars Bhotanasana, the pyramid pose. If you wanna grab blocks, you can. Straighten the front leg, level the hips, round down over the right leg. If you don't have blocks available, the front leg doesn't wanna straighten, then keep a little bend in the front knee, that's okay. If you'd like to add on here, the option is you can interlace fingers behind the back. You can take hands to opposite elbows behind the back. Let's give it one more deep breath. Return to low lunge, bend the right knee. Step to down dog, bring the right foot back. Optional, you can hold your down dog or flow through your plank, chaturanga up dog. Let's go right to child's pose. Bend the knees, separate the knees, toes together, hips to heels. You can reach arms forward or back. And return to your hands and knees. Press back to downward facing dog. Putting a little bend in the knees, look forward through the hands. Walk or hop the feet up to the front. Chest up on the inhale. Exhale, round it down. Feet together, Ujjkatasana, bend the knees, lift the arms. Dive over the legs, let it go. Stepping the right foot back, low lunge. Little bend in the knee, look forward, high lunge. Sweep them up. Reach the arms forward, hands in front of the left foot, right leg up, hips level, chest up. Low lunge, arms high, high lunge. One more like that. Reach out, right leg up, low lunge. Step back, arms high, high lunge. Adding on this time, reach the arms out, hands in front of the left foot. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, the left hand stays down, point the right toes away from you, right arm high. Strong standing leg. Block under the left hand if you need to. Turn your head when you can. Look up at your right fingertips. Keep the breath nice and strong. One more breath. Return slow, warrior two, right foot on the mat, arms out. Reverse warrior, left arm up. Lower both hands to the inside of the left foot. Skandasana to the right, back of the mat. Side lunge, bend the right knee, heel down. Prasarita Padatanasana to center, parallel the feet, fold over the legs. Any variation you choose, one more breath. Hands toward the center, chest up. Low lunge at the front, walk the hands around. Turn the back heel down at a 45 degree angle. Readjust the back foot as you need if you need. Setting up Pars Votanasana. Blocks under the hands if you need, if you have them. Rounding down over the left leg. Try to level the hips if you can without forcing it. Right, so we're not gonna make the hips fall in line, but if they can, the left hip pulls back a little bit. You can change up the arm variation if you choose. If you did it on the first side, you can interlace fingers behind the back. You can hands to opposite elbows, but either switching up the grip of the fingers or switching up the hands to opposite elbows. Follow the breath. One more time. Well, let's re-bend up the left knee, low lunge. Down dog, step the left foot back. 
Again, you can hold your down dog, shake it off. Optional plank chaturanga up dog if you choose. Good, on your next inhale, let's lift the right leg up. Exhale, step to lizard pose. Bring your right foot outside the right hand. Lower the back knee on the mat. If you choose, you can keep your back knee lifting, right? If you like the slightly stronger stretch. If the hips have room to do so, you can bend at the elbows, drop the forearms to the mat. I like to use blocks, so if you have something available for you, feel free to grab a lift or something that you can rest your forearms on, just to give the hands a little bit of a break. Soften the shoulders. If it feels good, let the right foot roll to the little toe side. If it still feels good, you can add on the quad stretch. Bending the back knee, reach the right hand back, grab the left foot as the hips sink into the stretch. The right shoulder rolls back a little bit. One more deep breath. And letting go, let's all return to center. Lift the back knee if it isn't already. Let's transition right into pigeon pose. So your right foot lifts off the mat, the right knee bending. Slide the right knee behind the wrist, left leg back. Sit tall. Hips level, use a prop if you need under the right hip or thigh. Modify on your back if that makes sense for you to do today. And if you're otherwise good here, feel free to walk the hands all the way out. Lower the forehead down. Let's give it one more deep breath. Start to walk the hands back in. The head, the chest up. Down dog. Step the right foot back. Shake it off, stretch it out. We'll switch up the sides. Big inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step, the, step to lizard, left foot outside the left hand. You can drop the back knee or keep it lifting. Hands down, elbows down. Grab a block if you choose. Chest up, shoulders back, maybe. Roll to the little toe side of the left foot. If it feels good, go for it. If it doesn't feel good, if you don't get anything out of it, then don't do it. Maintaining nice deep breaths. One more breath. You can hold it here. If this otherwise feels good and you tried it on the first side, maybe add the quad stretch, bend the right knee, reach the left hand back. Let the left shoulder roll back a little. One more breath. Let's all return to center. Hands down, back knee up. Transitioning into pigeon. Bring the left knee behind the wrist. Right leg back, sit tall, level the hips, open the heart, soften the shoulders. Prop yourself if you need, modify on your back if you need. If you're otherwise good to go, walk the hands out, lower the forehead down, softening into the stretch. Feel the ribs expand. Stay present. One more deep breath. Start to walk the hands in, lift the head, the chest. Good, and let's have a, let's come to a seat. Let's move any props you might have under the left hip or thigh. Just roll to the left leg, bring the right leg around. And as you roll back, hug the knees in toward the chest. If it feels good, you can rock a little side to side. Happy baby pose. Good. And 
with your feet on the mat, roll actually, uh, roll, yeah, roll onto your right side. Your left leg will be on top. I'm gonna do things a little different. Come on to your right elbow. So I'm doing the same thing you're doing. So if it looks like I'm doing the opposite, I'm actually doing the same thing. My right elbow is on the mat, your right elbow is on the mat. Left leg on top. Feet are flexed, all 10 toes pointing the same direction, okay? So your toes aren't like reaching out or, right? Feet are, feet are uh, flexed. Lift the left leg up. And again, keeping your toes slightly turned in, right? Lift the right, uh, left leg a little bit higher. Point the toes up toward the sky. And bring your left leg all the way, all the way out. Slow, 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 slow. Right? Using the uh, inner thigh muscles of the left leg. Slow, 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 slow. Good. Now, lower all the way down. Let your head rest in your right hand. Yeah. From here, your bottom leg, your right leg, bend it up and take your left hand, grab onto the foot. Another little quad stretch. Flex the right foot. Let your tailbone lengthen. Just breathe one more time. Good, then let it go. And return onto your back. Before we get to the other side, we're gonna add something super fun. You're gonna love it. Hug the knees in toward the chest. We're gonna lift up right into boat pose, Navasana. So if you wanna see what I'm doing first, feel free to do that. Hugging the knees in tight. You're gonna, you can rock up and down a few times if you like, give yourself some momentum, but you're gonna stop yourself before coming all the way forward. So you're gonna lift up, feet up, legs up reaching both arms straight out. Yeah, so much fun. Chest up. One more deep breath. Lower your feet to the mat, extend the legs all the way out, and then just reach for your feet, coming into a forward fold to release out the core stretch. We're gonna go the other way, resting now, laying on the left side. Your left forearm on the mat. Right leg on top. One foot on top of the other, all 10 toes pointing the same direction. Lift up the right leg. All right, so keeping the right leg like spiraling in a little bit. So you'll feel the outside of the right leg engage. Start to lift the right leg a little higher, point the right toes all the way up toward the sky. Bring your right leg all the way, all the way out. Then lower all the way down onto your left side. Let your head rest in your left hand. Your bottom leg, your left leg, bend it. Right hand, grab onto your left foot. Flex the left foot. Lengthen the tailbone. So as you pull gently with your left hand, you'll feel a quad stretch. I'm sorry, pulling gently with the right hand on your left foot, you'll feel a little quad stretch in the bottom leg. Let's give it one more deep breath. And let it go. Return onto your back. Hug the knees again in toward the chest because we're gonna do our boat pose one more time. Yeah, if you wanna rock up and down a little bit to give yourself momentum, feel free to do that. All right, it'll be a big inhale that lifts you all the way up. Keep the legs lifting, letting go. Chest up, shoulders down. One more deep breath. And bring your feet to the mat, extend the legs all the way out. One more forward fold, reach out. Use a strap or belt or anything you need to get a more reasonable grip on the feet. 
Take one more deep breath. Start to lift the chest, release the feet. Bend the knees, Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Knees drop out, hands to the outsides of the, of the feet, the front of the feet, chest up. If this is deep enough, hold it right here. If you have space to do so, you can start to lean in a little bit. Without completely collapsing down, make sure you can breathe free and clear. One more deep breath. Start to release it all the way out, come up, bring the knees back together again, roll onto your mat. Hugging the knees in. You can rock a little side to side. Feel free to set up the, a brief inversion practice. If you want to do a quick shoulder stand or take your mat to the wall and do legs up the wall and stay there for Shavasana, that's fine too. Give yourself another one to three deep breaths. Letting your energy settle a bit. And slowly coming out of your upside down pose. Again, if you have your mat to the wall and you're going full restorative legs up the wall, you can stay there. All right, if you're otherwise upside down before setting up Shavasana, take a little counter stretch, a little fish pose on your back a little cobra pose on your belly. Then when you're ready, settling onto your mat, feel free to take any final little stretch or twist you'd like to, to do to work out any final kinks before you do set up your relaxation this morning. Then when you're otherwise ready, let the legs extend out on the mat. Feel free if you want to take a blanket or something to cover yourself with just in, in case you cool off a little too much. You don't want to get cold. Letting the arms drop out toward the sides. Turn the palms face up. The eyes are closed. Letting go of the ujjayi breath. Soften the space between the eyebrows. Unclenching the jaw. Just embracing a few moments of stillness. Begin lengthening the breath. Gradually returning awareness to the body, wiggling fingers, wiggling toes. Maybe gently roll the head side to side. Reaching the arms overhead, enjoy a nice waking stretch. Bring the knees in toward the chest one final time. Rolling slowly over to the right. Keeping the eyes closed a little while longer. Start coming back up to a comfortable seated position on the mat. Bringing both palms together at the heart. Relax your chin to your chest. Taking an opportunity once again, checking in with the breath. Re returning to your intention. 
can always taking a moment honoring your efforts and honoring your practice today. Namaste.